hey people welcome to my channel so let's see how to check up if a person is eligible to vote or not so what is an eligibility criteria oh wait by the way we'll be doing pseudocode and flowchart both of them in this lecture so yes what is the age criteria for voting <clears throat> it is 18 or 18 plus right so that is what we'll be using here age criteria is greater than or equal to 18 this is a case right okay we'll start with the algorithm first step one everywhere the first step is starting of thing okay second step we need to input input what in this case we have to input age okay third step now we input the age now we we have to check if this criteria is applicable or not okay for that if this is a keyword if age is greater than or equal to 18 in computer we write it like this we don't write it like this it's only in max we write it like this for computer programming languages this is how we'll be writing the things okay next if this is correct this case is correct then print eligible to vote please don't try to buy heart it it's quite easy if it, you can you guys can understand it okay next okay if this isn't the case this is false then else print not eligible Okay. Seventh is the stop the program. So this is the algorithm for the person to check if he or she is eligible to vote. Now we'll be doing the flowchart. Okay. The first step here is to start. So for starting, the symbol is this. I had discussed this symbols and few examples in a detailed way in my previous lecture where I'm explaining the entire context. So first start, and then we put an arrow. The next case is input. So input as in simple, it's a parallelogram, okay? So input age. then we have a decision here if if this is a case so that's a decision okay so decision is in this if age greater than or equal to and make it a bit big if page greater than equal to 18 if this is yes and if this is no let's check what is the case if this is correct then print eligible to vote it should be a parallelogram because it's an output. Okay. If this is a case, print not eligible. Okay. Now this is also done. The last step is to stop. In here, we can actually add on one more thing that is. After printing, you can say, go to step seven. Here, we don't have to mention because the next step is seven itself. Or, so only here it is required, okay? So the next step is common to both. So we can make it in a common way, okay? So this stop is also in this form. 
So this is an algorithm and the flowchart for this question. Thank you and stay tuned for more such questions.